are you ready to play the glad game or what more would you like to say leading up to let's explain what the glad game is yeah, it's it's um, the Glad Game originally came from uh, a book uh, published in the 50s called Pollyanna, and it was a book by Eleanor Porter and Pollyanna. Um, and I've been called Pollyanna all my life, by the way, and not in a good way. <laughs> um, there's a great misconception about Pollyanna is that she was some kind of positive ninny who who went around and just I don't know tried to always feel good or glad. And it's absolutely not true. I mean, it, she's a fictional character, but this young girl was who parents both died and she was sent to live in a town with an aunt and uncle she didn't know and who weren't very nice to her and she set about doing something she called the glad game where in every circumstance she found something to be glad about so i've kind of taken that and expanded it and the way i'm thinking of it and the way i like to play it is take something that you find difficult or challenging about your life and then find something to be glad about that difficulty or challenge so it's not sidestepping the difficulty. It's, in fact, embracing it and practicing some practical gladness. So I'll give an example. Um, I sometimes feel overwhelmed. Uh, one of the challenges in my life is I sometimes feel overwhelmed by all there is to do in my business, all the different products and services that I offer and all the management that those require, and I get overwhelmed. And I feel glad that I have a business and that I'm doing my life's work and that I can offer these wonderful things for other people and, you know, for myself. So that's an example of something I find challenging and then something that I'm glad about that specific um, challenge. So, Marie, do you have one? Well, I was thinking about the parking one because I was like, how can I be glad about that? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 So sometimes, I don't know, I mean, do you ever find that it's a bit of a stretch or I'm going to say... Um, sure, but let's, let you try it and let's okay. see where you go. So I'm going to say that the, I'm glad about the... Well, I'm going to stop you right there. Start with what you find difficult or challenging. Okay. So the challenge is the uncomfortable situation with the parking policeman <laughs> I don't know what to call him that's the yeah. nicest thing I could think of um and I guess the I'm glad Ooh, I don't know I'm glad because it's giving me a, an opportunity to practice not being right oh this is good Marie uh and also so I'm I've now parked across the street and some days if I'm lucky I might actually be closer to the bus stop mm-hmm that's fabulous that's a great example of the glad game but i'm still i have to be honest i still feel that little bit of like i want to get him well, back <laughs> yeah but the glad game is not meant to erase that the, gr the glad game is meant to let you be in the marvelous messy middle where you have those gladnesses that you just mentioned and you also have those annoyances and challenges that you just mentioned all right. Well, if you want to play the GLAD game, give us a call, 604-822-2487. If there is a challenge that you are having in your life, uh, Susan, can what if someone's having a challenge and right now they just can't seem to, to see the GLAD? Can you oh, yeah, help them you. work through that? Well, first of all, there are, let's be sure, and I'm so glad you mentioned this, and I meant to mention it in the beginning. There are times that you need to just feel what you feel, and there's not one darn glad thing about it you know it's just at that time you just can't find a glad thing and you shouldn't you know like i think about the death of a child so a parent that comes to me and says there's no gift in this death and i say well right now there is not because the gifts and gladnesses sometimes take a bit of time to show up in the material world and also, we need to honor how we feel when we feel it. You know, this is not about trying to use a little mini trampoline and, and bounce out of bad feelings. Thank you for clarifying me. that. Yeah, and thank you for helping me clarify that. And, you know, I, I can't remember everything, so <laughs> it's a well, good thing. <laughs> we have a caller on the line, so okay, should, great. should we bring her up? So you are on the air with Susan Ariel Rainbow Kennedy, also known as Sark. And uh, what is your, first of all, what's your name? It's Julia. Hi, Julia. Welcome to the Hi, show. Hi, Julia. Hi, thank you. This is awesome. I'm driving to work. <laughs> oh, oh I hope you're on the hands-free. <laughs> yes, I do. I have a hands-free. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, so, 
So what is your challenge, Julia? So uh, I was in a, a relationship for over a year, and we started unraveling it in June. And we're still uh, basically in a breakup phase, and we're trying to do it in a way that is gentle for both of us. But it's, um, it's very painful because I still really love this man, but it's just not meant to be. So yes. it, there's a, a bit of a conflict that I'm still moving forward in the process. So tell us what you feel glad about about that relationship oh yeah well i i feel i feel so glad that i got to know someone so special and unique in such a deep way you know i i, I so appreciate that that's it, it's like a miracle that that i was with someone so unique and special so yeah i guess i'm, I'm really glad i had that chance even though it was only for a year I, i'm really glad about it Oh, Julia, that's beautiful. You know, I wrote in my new book, Glad No Matter What, about my love relationship that lasted about a year and a half, and I we we actually called our breakup a breakthrough. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and it was very mutual and very respectful, and we did see a therapist to help us have some closure. But I wrote about that while I was experiencing it, and it was very painful because in many ways this person was the closest person that I'd ever been with you know like I'd never let anyone get as close mm -hmm. and so I wrote a lot about that in the book and so I really honor where you are and I I know what you're talking about when you still love someone and but there's reasons that you can't go on and that it's so painful oh so yeah just, that's for sure it is it's intense it really is and it yeah, really is and you it will continue and you'll have many grief episodes and oh. I just honor you and bless you and oh, then I also, you. I honor you for finding the gladness, because look at what you just spoke of. It was so beautiful. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, it's so wonderful to talk to you. I love what you're doing. I love who you are, and it's so exciting I got through on the phone. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Julie. I have a wonderful day at work. Thanks. I'm going to go buy your book today. <laughs> oh, thank Yay. you.